Could tigers survive in the Cretaceous? Today, it is the largest cat in the world. But 66 million years ago, it was just a small animal. That's right. If you see a tiger, you best hope it's only on a TV screen or that it's behind sturdy metal bars because tigers are vicious. One of those animals you don't want to face in this day and age. But what if we captured tigers and sent them back to the Cretaceous period, back when dinosaurs roamed the earth? How will these animals adapt? For our orange and black striped cats, that ancient world would pose countless challenges. Could tigers survive in the Cretaceous period? Today's tiger. Before whisking our modern-day tiger away to the Cretaceous era, let's afford him a moment for preparation, allowing us to acquaint ourselves with him as well. There exist six extant subspecies of tigers worldwide. Given the daunting prospect of transporting our tiger back to an earth teeming with dinosaurs, we'll opt for the largest subspecies to afford him a fighting chance. And that subspecies happens to be the Siberian tiger. Siberian tigers boast formidable proportions, with adult males typically stretching up to 10 feet in length, 3 meters, and tipping the scales at around 650 pounds, 300 kilohours. It's this sheer size that renders encountering a tiger a perilous affair, with these majestic beasts outweighing the average human by three to fourfold. Yet, it's not merely their size that makes tigers a formidable presence. Capable of sprinting at speeds of up to 40 miles per hour, 64 kph, even a fleeting glimpse of one from the confines of a car offers little solace, barring the proximity of a swift escape route. Moreover, their astonishing leaping ability, spanning 18 to 20 feet, 5.5, 6 meters, in a single bound, further underscores their prowess. In essence, when a tiger sets its sights on prey, evasion becomes a futile endeavor. Renowned for their adept hunting prowess, tigers excel at camouflage, stealthily closing in on unsuspecting targets before launching a meticulously calculated ambush. Hence, it's little wonder that humans, cognizant of these predators' capabilities, fervently avoid crossing paths with them. Although such encounters are infrequent, one might ponder which unfortunate creatures inadvertently find themselves in the crosshairs of a tiger's hunt and where such confrontations typically unfold. Diet and Habitat Before delving into the hypothetical journey of our tiger, it's essential to understand its current whereabouts and dietary inclinations. We've explored the unfortunate prey that often finds itself at odds with the tiger's hunting prowess. But first, Let's take a closer look at the environments where tigers thrive. What distinguishes the tiger is its remarkable adaptability. While other large cats exhibit some degree of flexibility in their habitats, the tiger stands out for its unparalleled versatility. Consider lions and jaguars, for instance. They tend to inhabit regions with similar climates. Lions predominantly roam the vast expanses of Africa, while jaguars dominate the landscapes of the Americas. Both species favor regions near the equator, where temperatures and humidity levels remain relatively stable. Whether in the savannas of Africa or the rainforests of South America, their habitats share striking similarities. However, the tiger defies such constraints. Its territory spans from the equatorial regions to the icy realms of Russia, encompassing a wide range of climates and landscapes. From the dense jungles of Southeast Asia to the frosty taigas of Siberia, tigers showcase adaptability unparalleled in the animal kingdom. Unlike their counterparts, which are confined to specific habitats, tigers roam across diverse ecosystems, from mangrove swamps to grasslands, demonstrating a versatility rarely seen in large predators. Regardless of whether one finds themselves in the jungles of India or the forests of Russia, encountering a tiger in the role of apex predator is an awe-inspiring, albeit intimidating, experience. Among the tiger's preferred prey are an array of formidable animals, including pigs, water buffaloes, deer, cattle, goats, and wild boars. In times of scarcity, they may resort to hunting smaller mammals like monkeys or even engage in battles with formidable adversaries like crocodiles. 
Tigers are efficient hunters, typically consuming around 75 pounds, 34 kudiras of food in a single night. Their preference for larger prey aligns with their energy-efficient hunting strategy. However, if we were to transport the tiger back to the Cretaceous era, everything would change, including its potential prey. What new challenges and opportunities would await the tiger in this ancient landscape? How would it adapt to the unfamiliar environment and shifting dynamics of the food chain? Welcome to the Cretaceous Era. The transition to the Cretaceous period won't exactly roll out the welcome mat for our tiger. This epoch was a perilous time for nearly every creature that roamed the earth. Imagine a 10-foot, 650-pound tiger accustomed to reigning as the apex predator. Now, thrust into a world where predators dwarf it in size. For our tiger, navigating this landscape is fraught with peril. However, we place our bets on the tiger's renowned adaptability to navigate this unfamiliar terrain. In the Cretaceous era, Earth simmered under much hotter conditions than today. But fear not, tigers thrive in equatorial climates and can withstand the heat. Yet a monumental shift awaits them from the outset, no longer the apex predator. Instead, they find themselves vulnerable to larger predators that view them as potential prey. A novel experience for our modern-day tiger. To survive in this treacherous environment, tigers must evolve robust defensive strategies. Vigilance becomes paramount, with threats looming from all directions, including the skies. Pterodactyls, notably Quetzalcoatlus with its colossal 36-foot wingspan, dominate the aerial realm. In the absence of tree cover, tigers must remain vigilant against these airborne predators. Seeking refuge in dense forests, akin to their natural habitats, emerges as a prudent course of action. However, dangers lurk beyond the skies. The Cretaceous landscape is home to formidable predators like Spinosaurus and Tyrannosaurus rex. Spinosaurus, towering at 49 feet in length and weighing over 16,000 pounds, and T-Rex, measuring over 40 feet long and weighing as much as 15,000 pounds, pose formidable threats. Suddenly, the tiger's 10-foot frame and 650-pound physique pale in comparison. Tigers, accustomed to rarely encountering predators larger than themselves, now confront reptilian behemoths that tower over them. The dominance of reptiles in this era dawns upon them, with tigers reduced to a fraction of the size and weight of these colossal creatures. And let's not forget the cunning velociraptors, agile pack hunters capable of posing a significant threat despite their smaller size. Though larger than the raptors, Tigers would be wise not to underestimate their resourcefulness and lethal hunting prowess. How would tigers survive in the Cretaceous? To navigate the challenges of the Cretaceous era, tigers would undergo significant adaptation. Fortunately, their inherent adaptability offers hope. But it's not just about adjusting to a new environment. It's about confronting unfamiliar adversaries. Despite being predators, tigers would quickly realize they're no longer at the top of the food chain. To thrive in this perilous landscape, they'd need to embrace opportunism and develop defense mechanisms akin to those of their prey. Concealment and swift evasion would become their survival strategies in a world where danger lurks at every turn. While prey would be plentiful, it would be a different game altogether. Tigers might need to expand their palate to include reptilian herbivores like iguanodons, weighing a staggering 8,000 pounds, or the smaller yet formidable hadrosaurs at 4,000 pounds. Despite the size difference, tigers' intelligence and strength could provide avenues for success. Additionally, smaller reptiles and rodents would offer supplementary sustenance. Unlike their modern habits of hunting once a week, survival in the Cretaceous would demand constant vigilance. Daily hunts would become the norm, all while evading apex predators. Tigers possess the requisite skills to adapt and thrive in this ancient landscape, but success hinges on their mindset. They must acknowledge their diminished status in the food chain and pivot from offense to defense. 
It's a challenge unlike any they've faced before, but history has shown their capacity for adaptation. As long as tigers put their egos aside, they can still survive in the Cretaceous period. But if that ego remained intact, the tiger would certainly not be able to exist in the Cretaceous period. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to the channel.